welcome to another vlog. This is going to be a whole week in my life because for the first time in two years, we actually have snow on the forecast this week and I'm super excited for a proper cozy week filled with actual winter weather and activities. Monday is a holiday, but after that I have a very busy week full of filming, coffee dates, admin, and all of that. Also thought it'd be fun to show you all of my home cafe creations because I consider coffee my daily morning ritual. I have a lot of favorite mugs. I, there are different ways that I make it depending on the day and my mood. So I'm excited to give you a little tour of all of that as well. So come along and see what a week in my life in winter in New York City looks like when I am not just out for a single day walking around town. I hope that you enjoy and let's get into it. Before I get dressed today, I have some very exciting packages to open with you guys. I have a couple new pieces from Cezanne that I got in last week's video and a brand new coat that I am super excited about. So let's get into it. So these are the pieces that I just got new in and it is all winter themed, lots of light tones and very cozy materials. First up is a bag that I've been eyeing for so long and I was picking between two and decided on this beautiful cream colored purse from Cezanne. It has a very useful crossbody strap that you can adjust and gold hardware, which I love. The size is perfect for a day or a night out, it fits your phone. It even has this extra pocket for organizing and a zipper and pocket inside. So I feel like this fits exactly the essentials I would need. So I'm excited to style this. I don't own anything like it and I don't have any cream bags. So this will be perfect for my collection. Second is a knitwear piece from Cezanne. You might sense a theme here. It is also cream and it is in a similar material to the scarf and beanie that I already own, which I know I love because I wear them all the time and it's really soft and does not irritate my skin at all. It's not scratchy and I just love this simple silhouette. And then last but not least is this amazing coat from Ugg. You'll be able to see this much better when I try it on, but it is in their signature teddy material, again in an off-white long line. So it reaches all the way down my legs with this beautiful button detail and very comfortable and beautiful lining. So let me try all of these on for you so you can see the whole vision. <laughs> guest helping me this morning. So this is the Cezanne sweater on. It has a boat neckline. It's a really simple straight 
neck and the beautiful mohair material that is so soft and probably my favorite of all of their knitwear materials. I like to tuck my sweaters in usually and have it a little bit oversized so this is the small and the perfect fit for me. And then we have the cozy coat of dreams. This is the Ugg coat that I ordered and like I said if you were around for my last vlog I went in store to try to find it but couldn't so I got it with two-day shipping off Amazon really clutch I'll link all of these products down below by the way if you're interested or want to know more and it is really warm of course I need to road test but it's super fluffy and it has buttons right in the middle here so it just kind of secures at the waist and is open below. I think I will also be tucking it in like this sometimes to keep my neck extra warm. But generally, this is what it looks like. I am a teddy bear. And finally, the Cezanne bag completes this look. I am obsessed with this color and really happy that I went with this option. And what's really nice is this coat is rather thick, so I'm able to adjust the strap to be longer. And if I wasn't wearing it, I would make it a little bit shorter, so it's still crossbody and hangs in this way. That's it. I cannot wait to road test this outfit. I feel like a snow bear, and it's perfect for the winter weather we are having this week. Good morning! It's Tuesday and it's the first official snow of the year. We are so excited. I'm about to wrap up in my thickest coat. Luca's in his new snowsuit and we're gonna walk him to daycare. And it's melting a little bit, but I'm hopeful that there is enough to at least play a tiny bit in the snow. So let's go on a daycare run. <laughs> I dropped Luca off at daycare and then hopped on the train to Central Park because what do you do on a snow day in New York? You go to Central Park. I'm filming a really exciting winter guide that is going live in a few weeks. So I can't show you much yet, but I will insert some clips of the snow and the frolicking because it's the first snow day of the year and I can't leave you guys without. Here's some snow from New York City. I've come to the mat real quick to pick up a mug for a said winter guide because a met mug is a total vibe with coffee in the morning. You just are instantly transported and I've been wanting one for a while, so let's go in. Leave it 
to me to go shopping at a museum without actually looking at the art, but we've been to the Met a few times before, even together, so I feel like I'm okay just stopping by. This is more of like a week in my life, so you can get a realistic sense of how my week goes, and this is very common. I am out filming one, two, three days a week, and doing errands in the middle of all of that, and it's a lot of things to keep track of, lots of parallel efforts, but that's the reality so here we go one stop shop at the met and on we go for lunch we are headed to eli's essentials and wine bar which if you don't know eli's a bar they're a new york city institution they're one of the city's historic delis and they have a few concepts around town now this is one that is a combination of shop eatery and wine bar and I'm excited because I'm so hungry and my feet are wet and my hair is frozen and we need to take a quick break and find shelter. It hit the spot. I got a steak sandwich and an assortment of salads. Really low-key place. Very relaxed.
Good morning, it is Thursday and I'm starting my day with some black tea to get a little bit of caffeine in me because I have coffee plans later. And then we are having a bit of a day in the city. I have a gallery opening and I'm going to tonight. They invited me on Instagram and it's at the Center for Books. I am a huge bookmaking lover. Not that I've done it myself, but when I was in grad school, we had to make our own portfolios and I just really love physical books, so I'm excited. And then we are meeting Miguel and Grace for dinner and drinks in the Flatiron area. So today should be a good day. I am doing some admin before I leave and then we are going to have a little city time. We have made it to Brooklyn Heights where I'm headed to coffee with Melissa at Apartment 4F, one of my all-time favorite cafe spots. And they have some great seating upstairs when you just like want to have a catch up. Melissa, if you don't know her, is a content creator in New York City. She also has extremely cute dogs and I've been following her for years and by chance happened to meet her in the Cezanne store of all places. We were both shopping in there and I recognized her from her feed. We got to chatting and now we're going to get some coffee and croissants, which is really exciting because I've had neither this morning and I'm very hungry and I can really use a cup of coffee. So let's go. <laughs> done with coffee and it was lovely. I feel like every time Melissa and I chat, we just like have so much to talk about. So I inserted a little clip of us saying hi, but I forgot to otherwise capture anything, sorry. Now I'm headed to the Upper East Side to film something. And then I will be back with you guys at the art gallery opening later and for dinner. So it is still very much freezing. I'm so bundled up, it's like, Winter has actually truly hit now, and we are below freezing temps. Um, and I have to say, this coat is holding up. I'm layered underneath, but I'm impressed. It's sort of, I feel like I can reach for this or for my puffer and be okay. So that's a check of approval after road testing, and I'm really excited about that. So I will now bundle up with gloves and see you guys a little bit later. just finished filming here on the Upper East Side and you guys are not ready for the cafe I found. It is full of fabulous German food and if you want to know where it is you're gonna have to watch my winter guide coming out very soon but I'll give you a little sneak peek right here just to be annoying. I am buzzing after that little lunch experience. It's just I haven't had a good German meal in like since the last time I visited Germany so I'm really just so I could have cried it was so good so anyway now I'm headed to Sephora because I have a little bit of time to kill before our little book gallery opening tonight and the summer Fridays lip oils came out and I would really love to try them I have no idea if they are in stock at the Sephora but we will see have 
made it to Flatiron and I am just walking by Madison Square Park on my way to the Center for Book Arts. I'll insert a little clip of my Sephora haul. I got a couple of lip liners because the one that I have from Huda Beauty is quite dark and I'm hoping for something a little lighter and neutral. So we'll see if these two tick the boxes. I'll have to try them out at home because I don't like to try those things in store, but the colors looked right. finished at the exhibition and you may not know this about me but I actually love bookmaking from architecture school and when we had to make our portfolios I went down a deep rabbit hole of ordering and collecting different types of paper so this was a really random invite via DM on Instagram but much appreciated and I kind of want to take a class now so I have to check online to see what that entails but Really nice space and brought back all of the design and art school vibes. And now I'm waiting for Miguel and Grace to get here because I'm about ready for a drink and dinner. I'm actually not hungry because I ate earlier, but I could do a wine or a cocktail. So we'll see where we go. While I wait for them to get here, it actually feels appropriate to duck into the Rizzoli bookstore that's around the corner. I just remembered it's there and it's a little bit too cold to stand outside for 30 minutes. So let's take a look at some pretty books.
and that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this winter week in my life in new york city if you haven't already then please like and subscribe and i will see you again next time bye